third day of the travel and today we're doing a little bit of historical stuff yeah. so we're ready to go this was the church we were supposed to visit but uh, because it was very crowded and i don't enjoy heights you can see that up there for sure would have been really really tight and i have vertigo when i go super super high uh, we decided not to go we cannot go inside the church because today it's sunday so there is a service um, so we are going to visit something else uh, it's a surprise it's a little bit architecturally um, so stay tuned uh, so we can show you another cool thing here in Copenhagen you can see in the distance we can see the entrance of the kids city also designed by Kobe so we're gonna go in front of it and check out if we can somehow visit it or visit it partly or we can just see the entrance and that's it this is located in Christianshafen you can see there in the background the church where we were and here behind this wall full of graffiti uh, you can find the uh, Christiania community it's sort of an independent community uh, when you get in there is a sign you're leaving the EU and when you're leaving the Christiania there is a sign which says you're entering the EU I don't know they have some sort of autonomy a lot of weed inside Kids City also designed by Kobe so we're gonna go in front of it and check out if we can somehow visit it or visit it partly or we can just see the entrance and that's it Kids City you can see the different buildings that were designed by Kobe it's inspired it's called Kids City because the project is inspired by the different buildings that you can find in a city like the town hall, the police station, the fireman station, the hospital and so on and they reproduce everything in a smaller scale so that the kids can move between those buildings and uh, there is like this super cool sports field on the top of the building and now I'm gonna try to to cross. Let's see if they're gonna kill me or not. No, everything cool, they stopped. So yeah, let's see. Here you can see you have this sort of glass house, uh, black house, wooden house. Here the sports field. Sport fields, it's like a, a steel structure that has been positioned on the top of it you can see the different kind of facades they are with visible joints so that you can save some money and this is here you can enter the kids city this is the main entrance and you can see that inside it's also like it's a really cool space I think super fun to experience as a kid so yes this was another Kobe project here we are approaching Paper Island from the other side uh, we're going to check it out I'm gonna be honest with you guys it doesn't look so nice in real life as much as it look on the on the renderings Desiree said something super funny. She said it looks like Star Wars, those moving giants, robots, or whatever they are. I'm not a. I think the shape looks Star Wars. So the shape look, oh, looks like Star Warsy. Desiree said. So I believe her because she's a Star Wars expert here. I'm not the Star Wars expert, but we can check it out and see how it looks like a little bit more. Um, here there is a really cool uh, triangular bridge. We can see a little bit more about how it looks like. It doesn't uh, seem that we can get any, any closer because it's still like a construction site. It's so cool that all the 
bridges are also for bikes. So yeah, this is how it looks like. I gotta say, a little bit, yeah, disappointing. It's not, I don't know, in the, in the renderings they had this gray color, but I guess they choose those yellow bricks because you can see that everything around here is this similar bricks. I don't know. Desiree, what's your opinion as a non-architect? Um, I'm not sure it fits completely. Yeah, it's very in huge. It's surrounding and it, it feels, I don't know, it feels inaccessible in yes, a way. I don't know if it's the shape or there's so much slant or I, I don't know. I yeah, it. it's a little bit too much. I don't know, maybe when it's finished and uh, everything is uh, filled with life inside. It will be a different story, but yeah. yeah. It looks cool, but it doesn't look people-centered. Yes. So let's go see what is the next um, area we can visit. So guys, yesterday evening we had dinner at this place called Popple or People. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, shout out to Mirda Lubinskaite who told me this place and it was really, really um, nice, um, very tasty. Desiree, who's vegetarian, ate meat and she said it was awesome. And it's right next to all these architectural sightseeing. So, perfect spot. But you have to reserve in advance. Here we are. You can see the Kraje Platz. We're crossing the bridge with which we're going on the other side of the water and there we have another cool building and if i turn around again you can see the paper island and in the background the opera house um, you can see that a lot of infrastructure it's built just for bicycles and again, it's amazing how it looks like from here. Super awesome. So guys, here we have urban trampolines. You can jump on them. Desiree, you can demonstrate. <laughs> Just put everything on the ground. This is, this is how we do it. Yes. So cool urban, uh, furniture no matter what kind of modern architecture we visit for sure the most impressive spiral it's the one you can see right in front of us that it's the Danish stock market and uh, I don't know there are like animals on the top that looks like a crocodile or something similar and the tails wrap together into this spiral i think it looks really really awesome and really really interesting um, and it's really impressive the whole building um, very everything feels very much connected to the to the sea to the navigation because uh, danish people are very much connected to exploring the world as I tell you as I told you before and um, we see also a lot of Ukrainian flag flags on the top and I think right next to it is the royal palace if I'm not wrong um, so yeah and now we are about to hop on on one of these boats and enjoy a little bit of Copenhagen on water
currently at Pedresberg LA where we are gonna be switching to another bus for our next destination but this happens to be also the station where there is one of the newest Kobe projects uh, like the metro station uh, food center and also uh, the residential buildings above so I think the next one the next floor will be the coolest floor where we're gonna be coming out of a station with this super reflective metal ceiling so I'm gonna just switch to the front camera so that you can guys see it too it's gonna be so we are almost getting there uh, I think the stations in Copenhagen are also very cool because you always have these multiple stairs and there you can see how we are coming out of this station with this super reflective ceiling uh, which looks a little bit like the Roskilde Rock Museum and uh, we are exiting the station and we are beneath we are beneath the food hall which I don't know it's open and uh, we can see that the building has this super nice brick facade uh, we're gonna be crossing the street so that we can show it better so guys here you can see the building uh, it's super scary to cross the street we gotta hurry up a little bit but you can see that it looks pretty much like on the renderings it's this corner building uh, out of this beautiful brick facade and beneath it there is the entrance of the metro station in the first two stories are this uh, food court and uh, behind we cannot access it I guess but there is the inner courtyard where the residents of the building uh, can uh, share some common urban life it's really beautiful the brickwork um, always Kobe, Kobe projects are never disappointing I, I can have to say so far and here you can see it from the other angle so you guys you can write in the comments what do you think I have to say I like it a lot it looks really cool and I can imagine inside the courtyard is even better so guys we came at Susterne which is basically the former water reservoir of Copenhagen now turned into a modern art exhibition and it's really interesting very humid it smells like super wet and uh, I have to be careful not to step into water because there are certain part of the exhibition which are under 10 centimeters of water so I suggest you to come and visit if you're in Copenhagen uh, yeah. Here we are at the round tower 
this is uh, one of the most visited sites in uh, Copenhagen. It's this tower with this spiral. Uh, you can see this tower in many spiral videos. Inspiration with spiral shapes. So let's see what is on the top.